What's the first thing that buyers see? They see photos online. And when they're looking at homes online, they're not gonna go see them unless they look the best they possibly can. What I really wanna focus with you today is how staging your property makes a big difference, not only in price, but in how long it's gonna be on the market. The purpose of a staged home is to maximize the selling dollar. It's to market it to as many people as possible, to offer buyers a blank palette that they can envision themselves in. A lot of people don't have imagination and they can't see past the paint color or the flooring um, and it's really become an important marketing tool in helping buyers envision themselves in that space. Do you want to help me move the TV? When I walk in, I see the potential. I'm looking at the size of the rooms and I'm looking at what are the floors gonna look like? What are the walls gonna look like? How can I best position the furniture to showcase it to a potential buyer? Oh, yeah, we don't need that headboard. Sorry, guys. I didn't know that they had a bed here. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, they've done a great job with the space. And I love the furniture. I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, tell me about visualizing this space because I don't know if I would necessarily imagine the television right here. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. I think for buyers coming in and taking a look at properties for the first time, if a space is empty, they have a hard time trying to figure out where everything would go. When I first walk in, that's my immediate thought. How am I going to make this look like something someone just can't wait to move into? How do people live in staged homes? What happens is you got to make sure that when you wake up in the morning, you're doing everything to make sure the house is in the same shape it was the night before. This pristine? Yeah, you have to keep it exactly as it is because when buyers are coming through and seeing the property, you want to make sure it's in the best shape it possibly can be. And how do kids live in a staged property? Yeah, it's harder for kids because obviously they're going to want to run around in the house. But if you give them some type of incentive in terms of maybe giving them a big tub of ice cream at the end of the process, they'll start listening to the rules. Now I'm looking at this bed and it's lumpy, so is it a water bed? Yeah, so this is a blow-up mattress actually. And this is something that the stagers will use because it shows you the potential of the room without actually bringing in the heavy furniture. I like what Lucy the home stager did in this home, but I'm wondering what happened to the homeowner's furniture before? Yeah, so this home was actually vacant beforehand, so this was an easy one for them to bring it in and out. But if they were to have had furniture in here, the home stager will actually store everything during the process of selling the home. I don't see any kind of personalization here. I mean, is that something that you want, that you're looking for? No, so when you walk into a house, you want it to be something that they can see themselves living in. If it's too much like the old owner, they're gonna have a hard time seeing themselves in that space. How much should a homeowner be paying for staging? So we normally recommend around 1% of the actual value of your property. For this house, for example, it's maybe worth without staging in the 580, 590 range, but with the house stage, we're looking at listing it in the high, you know, to high to mid 640s, 650s. And so how much did the homeowner have to pay to have this home staged here? So for this property, it's three bedrooms with a living, kitchen, and, and bathroom area, and it's around $3,100. Because you're such a big proponent of home staging, yeah. you've actually incorporated that cost into your realtor fee, right? Yeah, that's something that we do because at the end of the day, our job is to sell properties for the highest amount of money for our sellers and staging is a huge part of how we do that. And ultimately, if you don't stage your home, you're just gonna sell the competition, right? Absolutely, you gotta make sure that you're the best on the block. If there's three homes for sale on your block, you gotta make sure that yours looks the best to make sure that you get buyers in the door. We're really happy with the way that this home turned out. We feel like the pieces that we chose really do reflect um, a contemporary family that could come in here and, and, and use this space. And we really think anybody that walks in would be happy with it and we hope that it sells really fast. We're looking forward to some great results.